Hello and welcome back to another tutorial in this video series on using Photoshop CC. In this video we are going to take a look at ways to do non-destructive editing. The images that we're going to be using for the most part are images that I plan to use to create a dark Mad Max kind of apocalyptic looking composition. All right. So in these first videos I'm just going to introduce some of the techniques that I will be using and then in a later video I will actually be putting the scene together. So let's get started by first taking a look at adjustment layers. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on my background layer here, duplicate this layer, and we'll just call this, oh, gas mask one. All right, so we can actually come up here to image and make adjustments, so image adjustments, and there's all these different adjustments that we can make, all right, and that's great. For example, let's go ahead and uh, select hue and saturation. I'm gonna turn this saturation down, okay, and let's say, well, we'll turn it down all the way to black and white, okay? A nice grayscale image, okay? And we're gonna hit OK. And then we decide that, you know, we don't want it totally black and white. We want it just, you know, a little bit of color showing through, just kind of bleached out, all right? Now, we've already committed to this, okay? So if I come up here to Images, Adjustments, Hue and Saturation, notice my saturation points at the middle again. There's no color to saturate now, all right? because the adjustment that we're making is based off the last commitment, okay? And that's what the pixels are reflecting, reflecting is the last commitment that we've made. So there's a way around this, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and undo that. So let's come up here to my history window, hit history, and um, let's see, right there. All right, well, right there, duplicate layer, okay? We'll get rid of our hue and saturation. Back to duplicate layer. Now. We were able to go back, no problem, okay? Although what we did was still called a destructive edit, okay? We committed to the edit, and of course we could undo, but we could only undo back to the last commitment, okay? Now check this out. We can make an adjustment layer by coming up to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, and we have all of those same options, okay? So I'm gonna hit Hue and Saturation, okay? And we'll just hit OK. Now, notice it popped up up here instead, all right? And maybe yours is floating off. It also depends on your settings, okay? And you can just attach these windows, pull them off or attach them as you want. Okay, so whoop, let me pull this down a bit. Now, I'm going to turn the saturation all the way down. Notice I don't have to commit to anything. I don't have to hit return. Um, I can just turn it slightly up again. Right, so there I decide maybe I want it a little bleached out. Um, just to be silly, if I decide I want it really saturated, I can do that. Okay, and then I can say, no, that's silly. I think I want it somewhere around here. Okay, so that is the power of adjustment layers. We can add more than one adjustment layers, and there's more than one way to add an adjustment layer. I can come down here to this little uh circle that's uh half half filled in. Okay and just select those same options down here. And let's select curves. All right, and we can put a nice you know, S-curve on this thing. Actually, we'll put a very slight S-curve, okay? And then we'll, you know, play around with, uh, let me go ahead and delete the info box. Okay, so we put a slight S-curve on this and then we decide, you know, okay, now that we have an S-curve on it, let's go back to our hue. Let's turn the hue down a little bit, okay? And then we can come up to our curve and let's make that a more extreme of an S-curve like so, okay? And then we decide, oh, it's way too saturated. Come back to saturation. Can move that down, all right? We can just keep stacking these up. Now, adjustment layers, that looks kind of cool. Adjustment layers not only affect the layer below, but they affect all the layers below. So check this out. I can select my move tool and move this image and see that both images are affected. And if I turn these eyeballs on and off for the effects, see that? Yep. Okay. So that's how adjustment layers work. They're fantastic. Use them. Um, okay. So, um, benefits, there's tons of them. One really nice benefit is when you've cut out a bunch of different objects and you're putting them together um, to create a composition, you can actually apply a photo filter that will affect all of them, therefore getting the lighting right for all of the elements in your composition. So I can come over here to, oh, let's do it up here this time. So images, whoops, layer, <laughs> new adjustment layer, photo filter, okay? And we'll just call this, oh, sepia. All right. So we'll come over here to the photo filter settings and we'll set this on sepia and then we'll turn the density way up. And we have this kind of sepia look going on here. That's kind of a cool image in itself. Okay. And so if these objects were cut out, say if I grab the move tool here and come down here and move, all the different objects will have that same sepia look applied to them. Okay. And so it's a way to have some continuity in the uh, lighting of your 
uh, composition. All right, and of course this is all non-destructive, so I can actually just undo all of these if I decide I don't want them, or I can go to each layer and make adjustments as I want to. Okay, so adjustment layer is extremely powerful way to non-destructively edit your images.